day, welcome to TFI. I know, don't look at the clock, it is it it is actually really that time. <laughs> but this is a bonus upload for the day, you can thank Nicholas for that, he's put me in such a good mood, I thought I'll give you a double upload a day. Uh, right, this is something I was doing in the office today, and it's all to do with uh, lengths in your parts list. So what I'm going to do is start with modelling up just a bit of a bit of anything, right? This could be anything. Call it a bit of wood, call it a bit of metal, call it a bit of pipe, hose, I don't know. It could be anything, but let's go 30 by 10. And then let's... I'm got a 3D mouse on me today, so I'm doing manual orbits. That's fine, that's fine, we don't need one. Uh, but I'm going to do an extrusion of, let's call this... 15 in fact no let's not even do that let's call this 1.5 meters m meters and uh we'll save this and we'll call this uh we'll call this something and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this something and i'm going to place it randomly i know it wouldn't make sense to put this in here at all but we're going to place my something in my graphics card assembly <laughs> the reason for that is going to be apparent in just a short second so we're going to save that and then i'm going to make a drone you possibly possibly know where i'm going with this i think the title might have gave it away and um, i'm going to drop that in it, I, I, look i don't care about the view the view doesn't matter it doesn't look good i don't care but i'm going to create a parts list and then drop that off over here somewhere right so there's my something and you can see the quantity of something is one but I want it to be the length, right? I want the quantity of that bit to be 1.5 meters. How do you go about doing that? Now, the reason I've put it in the assembly is because it's quite easy to go to the parts list and then change the quantity using format column or whatever else you, you could do in the parts list. But then you're affecting everything. You want all of these to be quantity of one, but then you want this last thing here to say 1.5 meters. How do you go about doing that? Okay. This is how you do it, uh, and obviously others, you know, some people out there will know how to do this, but this is always for the people that don't know how to do these things. So what you've got to do, a couple of different ways of doing this. There's the way, and then there's the best practice way, and then there's the fudge way, and then there's all different kinds of ways. But one way, one way, is to create a new parameter. All right, so you click the little FX button up there, and you make a new user parameter, and we can call this length. All right, go to the units, click that, and then you can change this to be length and then you want meters there it is meters okay and then for the equation i'm going to type in 1.5 m and then i'm going to click the export parameter here because if you don't click that right when you right click on equation you get three options when you select export parameter you get four options so you know custom property format precision i'm going to drop that down to 1.1 remove the trailing zeros and then click ok and then that should sort us out for the equation being 1.5 meters. Click done. The next thing I'm going to do is go over to the document settings and I'm going to go to units and we're going to drop the linear display down to 1.1 and then the length down to meters. Click apply. Go to bill of materials tab and then this is where the magic happens, right? For the base quantity, currently it's listed as each. So when you place these into an assembly, they're quantified as one off or two off but we want to quantify this as being length. So for the base quantity, you want to drop this down and then you want to select your user parameter of 1.5 meters, click OK, and the unit quantity is now 1.5 meters, right? And just for that to be perfectly rounded off, right? You can edit your extrusion as well and then change the extents to be length, right? So the extents of that extrusion is length. Save that, right? Go back into your assembly Go to the bill of materials, and you should now see in your bill of materials of your assembly, uh, if we go to the structure tab down at the very bottom, something is quantified as 1.5 meters. And if we head on over to our drawing, click yes to update the parts list, your something is now quantified as 1.5 meters. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you would change something in your parts list to reflect its length rather than it being one off. Now if you want to make a change to that, you can do, it's not a bother, go over to something, you can just now change the extrusion, and say, well, would you change, no, you wouldn't change the extrusion, now we've changed that as length, we can say length equals, let's change that down, 0 0.5 meters. Hit done, hit save, head on over your drone, and that should now update to read 0 0.5 meters, without affecting anything else in the assembly in terms of units. Now what happens if you copy and paste this, well, let's have a look, let's do copy and paste, and then paste, so we've now got three of them, totaling 1.5 meters. So if we head back on over to the drawing, you can see we've now got three instances 
in the assembly. Uh, that looks a bit strange, doesn't it? That looks a bit strange. What's happening here? Ah, there we are. One, two, three. Oh, I must have been looking at the drawn border, but there is three in there with a value of 1.5, so it's totted them all up. And there you go. There you go. All right, thank you very much. Double upload for today. And hopefully that should stop those cowboys from overwriting values in the parts list. You know who you are. You know who you are. Hey. Right. See you later. Toodles.